flies ahead. We're nearing the heart of the absolute. I'm certain of it. Then let us push forward, heads high, weapons in hand, and turn this tower to rubble. Encouraging, but a little premature. Let's keep our eyes on the task ahead. Or I? A sign above. This, this must be a brewery or distillery. Brewery. It's like uh, say, saying, uh, call him a partner. It's frightened. It can be frightened. That's interesting. These are, well, that has it, but this doesn't. 
have much of hit points. is trapped okay good thing a long way to go still be very <laughs> aiming around that uh, well wandering around to aimlessly basically wish I had a bag of holding research notes they describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm Distiller Thizzable Thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizzable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. Interesting. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Your mind separates the black from the blue, Revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah. One blessed like myself. What news, true soul? Who better to suss out his like? You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Zarel? Fancy name. Let's put our best foot forward. Or is it best feet? Praise the absolute. Okay, we are infiltrating here. Coal. Okay, so they have a zealots and coals. Coals are pretty bad. I mean, I mean, leading cause of death for the first first level uh, play, players. You know, it's loading. Okay. Interesting burp.
The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. So I suppose the game is loading on lots of stuff. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. True soul business. Not for us. If it's been drinking. Disciples are out and shy by handing out pay. Bunch of the others were rounded up in the main hall a while ago. They ain't come back. Heard a rumor some do gooder stopped a horde of absolutists from getting their hands on a load of druids in some grove. I wonder who. Better pray the general doesn't smoke them out. Be a bloodbath, so it would. Brothers, sister, pray with me while we wait. I, I'm not worthy. I, I, I never learned the words. Yes, you did. She gives them to you fully formed. Can you hear her? Of many hearts, one soul. Of many thoughts, one mind. If you have coin, then show it. The bugbear. Okay. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolutes. How can I be of service, true soul? Blessed by association, let's say. I come to pay proper respect to a new power. I bow, but the Zentarim prefer to look their business partners in the eye. Ah, Zentarim. The Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries known for deep coffers and shallow scruples. Joaquin's clipped coins? No. Faith is an overflooded market. Transport, however. These faithful folk need some goods moved into the city. Our ships are obliging. Quietly. Oh, true soul. I couldn't burden your spirit with such material concerns. But I'm always happy to trade. Megan, her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Yeah. I'll get me here. Meek is here. Hush. Mm. Meat sounds above. Here. Apparently we can we can give him some meat. Not the scorpion. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt has my attention. For now. Their name matters not, merely their demise. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. 
But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. Luck is not needed. Merely patience and a thirst for blood. Hunt fast and hunt well. Okay. Hyena man. Be mossy. Get there. Under some spell. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> Now, how can I help you? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. <laughs> that is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Yeah, no, yeah. She gathers many threads for her design, but it is still her design. And Barnabas has found his place in it. Chef. Herself? Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. What would you like him to do? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Barnabas? You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. No, Barnabas! We talked about this. Okay, let's let's piece to the corns. I don't have a great uh, wisdom, but let's see what happens with with the if he roll well. of restraint is gone. Barnabas has oh, no. tasted blood and once more. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I'm, I'm pretty good at persuasion, so let's go with it. Don't need the that ball for this. friend Okay, what's that? More for me. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. So there's there is Something a tentacle monster in this place. From the Raj Oblodra, trader in all things occult. A very great pleasure to meet you, true soul. Should you be interested, I have a particular offer I'd like to make. Thankfully, I wasn't in it at the time. My cousins did like to boast about their view over the claw rift. And now their bones decorate the bottom. 
Put plainly, I'd like your blood. A vial of true soul's blood, specifically. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. No one gave it to me. Rather ironically, it runs in the bloodline. We, are Blodgers, are naturally curious folk. Always have been. So they got it some from somewhere. Realization washes over you. Every drow knows of the purge of House of Blodra, but you remember the whispers of why. Among the many crimes tallied against them, their reckless experimentation with illithid breeding stock. Blessed by the absolute, but not blinded by it. Now I simply must study you. The beings you speak of have no use for gods. And yet here we stand in a church of their making. Unless they are not the makers, but simply the means. Wouldn't that be a secret worth knowing? So let me adjust my offer. Your blood and your silence. In exchange for the potions I mention, and a tidy pile of gold besides. She took all I want to see what cult does to non believer. What kind of potion can you make? No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together. Hmm? Just a little prick, and it's all over. Close your eyes. A little pain for a lot of gold. And... There we are. All of your very best traits. In a bottle. Use it well. And... If I may... Would you have a moment to discuss another more... Personal... Matter? Okay. Truth be told... I heard tell of your coming before you arrived. Catherick's dogs prowl far and wide round the tower. I know you travel with a delightful Nightwalker in your retinue. Please, I have a proposal for him. I will reward you both, handsomely. That is not a name which has ever passed my lips. I am a friend to you. I wish to be a friend to oh, Okay, she wants to be a vampire. I will speak of it when he is here, not before. But it will be to your advantage. I promise. I... I must prepare myself for his arrival. Okay, <laughs> he'll start this on the east part. This pretty good background since we are... Alright. Um, uh, I need to drop Vila from the party for a moment. One of my eyes. I hope Gale makes you happy. Ah. I won't pretend I'm not hurt. But I also won't deny that your friendship alone is a magnificent gift. If friendship is what you're offering, it's an honor to accept. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No. No! Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead. 
it. I can't! Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild okay, as she's, she's a wild mage. Her talent is now yours too. Okay. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. The weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. Interesting club couple. I... <laughs> made as if it were your own there is a lightness in her now veiling the power within soothing it is that my future is that why they died it is it's wonderful thank you bowman for being nice if there are people like you around perhaps everything will be all right no never mind I never thought I'd see one in real life. I read about your kind for so many years, but you are a finer specimen than any beastry could describe. <laughs> You're really a vampire, at least one of their spawn. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. Okay. And he's yours to command. My envy is palpable. Yes, all of mine. Yeah. As it should be. <laughs> yeah, draw females. Uh, uh, Starian, but, but hold on. Good. Now. Astarian, I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. For all females. I'm sorry. You want to be bitten. It's, to it's not fun. To nice blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours, if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some <laughs> some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. Ah. That would explain the stench, yes. I've already had enough illithid filth in my head. I don't want it in my stomach as well. I don't have all day, true soul. It's up to you. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist 
such a delectable neck. This can't oh, go well. Very, very still. Incredible. Well, if she dies, we don't get the potion. Okay. <laughs> oh, hells. Oh. <clears throat> Not your taste. Yeah. <laughs> no. You are fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. Through a narrow crack in the wall, you hear something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. A coiling, restless void stirs within you. Your patron. For some reason, this thing in the wall excites it. Okay, let's see what it is. this feeling. The same alien presence you felt on the Nautiloid. Your awareness unfolds, expanding through every wall in the tower, every mind. A vast living network extending down into the dark, where something waits. What in the hells is that? It's a trap! Tendrils snap like iron cords around your wrist. That presence in your mind looms large, closer now. <laughs> Invite the presence if there's one the room for one more. Uh, this is not good. I don't think this is good either. The tendrils tighten, and suddenly you are elsewhere. The presence is no longer approaching you, but encircling you, observing you. to compress its vast being down into terms you can understand. This is the voice they have given me. To better speak to your kind without breaking you. I was once a servant of the grand design. Now, I'm a slave to theirs. But you, you are the flaw in their design. The single thread that could unravel everything they've planned. They name themselves chosen, but they are slavers. They will use me to bind this world, but I cannot bind you. You must come to me so I can become myself again. 
world away, the grip on you tightens. A desperate, drowning thing that pulls you down with it. Enough of this! Release yourself! <laughs> Good thing that friends actually do something. Or maybe they can't. Stop tweeting. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's not working. <laughs> Enough. An illicit oubliette. Right what beneath the, the towers. This place? The colony must be close. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from. Oubliette. Well, this took interesting turn. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. So we can get out of here. Oh, I need a bath. Or oh, several. Two hours later. Mistra. Okay, now they are wrong. going to right, right, right way, not the wrong way. Caught in the act of killing, a fight is unavoidable now. I don't mind because I wonder if this is worth the cost.
two steps at a time. I fall back here. What to do? Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Something survived in this hellscape. You should have led with that. See you there. Okay, now, now the tieflings are on board. So yeah, you, you need to have some, some kind of plan. Space. We'll Defend give, give the some space. We're a long way from Waterdeep. All right. What now? Well met. May the dice roll in my favor. Nothing important is ever easy. What path lies before me? Hammer. So is this? I wonder if this this is really really the Wolfram's hammer, and if there's some <laughs> quest associated with it. That would be like pretty nice. And stairs. So, I wonder where we can go. That's probably... Uh, the stairs are probably up, up to the castle. But where this leads, I have no idea. I mean, I mean, zero, zero idea. Uh, so it's on the side. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. Uh -huh. The facts suggest otherwise. 
You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Ass! No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorn? Let our newest arrival speak. Oh, okay. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Well, they were good at dying. That's what they... I did everything I was told! And there you have it. We're too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> Oh, hope. hope sister. But we can't actually kill. They can't actually kill him. That was actually a pretty strong throw. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Pretty strong as well. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! pleased about this she strikes me as the type to enjoy a little bloodshed the seat of the absolute's power occupied by a general that cannot be killed but his followers are flesh and blood we must learn what fuels his power general Thorne's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed the rooftop is off-limits to everyone. 
Even you, disciples, Rel? Yeah. Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. <laughs> Explain yourself. Pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate, but there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. <laughs> the distract me with your yearning of game. <laughs> well, we are sure. This ex uh, this episode. Ah, on only number that fails me. I roll again. Tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should to be touched by the absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. I got the dislocated shoulder. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. Okay. They are losing... But I can caress as ...their well as subordinates cut. in a That's why you should rapid stay on pace. The good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the general, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. Who hasn't answered? The relic answered. is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. Death would not silence Balthazar for long, but dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers, but don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Nice. It's pretty, pretty nice. So, I spy this is the room of Baldassar. Hmm. 
Ah, okay. Jumbies. So I can actually put something here. Still alive, so that's progress. Okay, he likes blood and guts me. and yeah. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Well, of course. But they were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Carved into the bench's rotted surface are strange, half-faded sigils. A magic circle of some kind, thick with darkness and decay. A ritual circle. And a complex one at that. I've seen such a construction before in the writings of the Weave Pasha of Alm Raven, though his vision was not so tainted. The sigils are written in a curious mix of tongues. Ancient Kalashite, Netherese, something else I can't quite make out. If I'm reading it correctly was used in the creation of moon lanterns. It's been mostly drained, but even now contains a powerful dose of shadow weave. The discarded pixie corpses might still contain enough essence. With one of the broken lantern casements... Yes, I think I'll be able to craft one more lantern. And with a slight modification of the casting gesture, it might be able to wield the shadows instead of repelling them. Okay. So, Mistress eyes may be upon me. It should forbid me dabbling with such magic. I should want it destroyed. Wasted, arguably. Forget what Mistra wants. Think about yourself and what Lady Shah's power <coughs> could do for you, Gale. Make the lantern. Spread her will. Stand back, if you please. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade, the circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. Not bad for a wizard who slept through his Kalashite lessons, eh? Did you feel that? I wasn't surrounded on all sides by the darkness of the shadow cursed lands. I'd think it was Mistra herself brushing against my skin. That's Mistra's power for you. Where there's even a trace of magic, she will be there to bring it to life. There's clearly some magic in you if you were able to sense her presence. But I think I felt something stronger. She's left some tiny part of herself to watch over me, I think. A boon to help us reach the heart of the Absolute in one piece. Hmm, true enough. 
Somehow I doubt that's an order Mistra will be willing to rescind, no matter how many times I impress her. The stakes are simply too high. Strange, though, that she would reward me for such a service now. She's hardly been forthcoming on that front since my banishment. Ah, perhaps I'm overthinking things. A blessing's a blessing, and this one should come in most useful. Broken Moonlanders, dead pixies. Which is here? Which is the place that the devil actually actually told us to 